Ladies, gentlemen, how are we doing today? Oh my, oh my. I'm sure you've seen this picture on the internet of a man by the name of Jonathan. Very interesting story I'm about to break to you here. This bit picture, this story got millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of views. Very blew up. Now, when I first read this, I was disgusted uh, because of what he apparently had been doing. He apparently knew he had uh, AIDS, which, you know, is what killed Freddie Mercury and a few other famous people, which is basically a non-treatable STI where you basically uh, die a very slow and miserable death. Well, not anymore, actually. You, they are medicine, they are medication where you can uh, actually heal or at least not uh, die anyway. So you, you still spread it. It's still, you know, contagious on your PP or whatever. I don't understand the science behind it. And he did this. Now, when I read this, pretend it's real because it's absolutely crazy if it was. So I got my results back. I'm sure you already know what I'm about to ask. How long did you know? Nah, I really apologise. Jonathan, how could you do this to me? My life is done. I just couldn't pass up on you. So basically, <laughs> I just couldn't say no to that booty, yo. That shit was too fire. I just had to give you this package. I really want you to do so bad, man. I really apologise. I wish it would never have gotten this far. I'm so hurt. I can't forgive you. I had HIV for around seven months now i'm so sorry so he basically knew he had it for ages and then apparently mm, did the deed which you know if you don't know what that is search it or go visit a prostitute on gta whichever you prefer i love prostitute please forgive me he knew for seven months question mark one of the girls on campus gave it to me wtf you're wrong aaf i hate you i wish i never met you i'm so sorry breaky heart so it's clear that the dude apparently doesn't really give a shit or care he's more in it for a good laugh a bit of banter if I'm sinking, I'm going to see how many birds I can bring down with me. You know what I mean? It's almost like a suicide bomber. He's just bang, 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 bang. Spread that shit like you're spreading your jam on your toast in the morning. How many other people did you infect? Why didn't you just use protection? I don't know. It was one of the girls on compass. Wow. You're unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Are you insane? I get off tonight at 12. Wow. You think this is funny? Look, I'm sorry. We can work it out. Sorry isn't going to fix this. Why? Because we both have it! Exclamation mark. That's sick. You are so so fudged up. We will be okay. We, as in like, they're going to be together. But to be fair, if this was real, they should probably just get married and like, you know, they can just plow each other and have no issue with doing that because, you know, you can't spread it to someone who's already got it. We won't. This kills. So obviously, very sad days. This poor man got exposed on the internet by someone, a woman, for doing this. Unfortunately, or no, fortunately, sorry. I mean, un I mean, fortunately, Jesus Christ. Fortunately, this was actually a lie. So a student named Jonathan Haynes, who attends St. Augustine's University in America. Nobody. 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 Does it better. His life has just been ruined from false allegations from his ex-girlfriend saying he had HIV and gave it to her. She goes on to admit that she lied and his family got his results that he is negative. So this man, obviously I just read it out, I'm not reading it again, I don't, you know, I'm too autistic to read it. He has been basically falsely accused by his ex-girlfriend who, by the way, a psychopath, has basically pranked the whole world pretending that this gentleman right here was going round spreading it like... Your mum spreads her legs. And his name is John C. Boom. Gotcha, bitch. High fives. Y'all don't know how this man feel. Whoever. I keep saying it's false. I keep saying it's false. He tagged me in his Okay, and exactly. That's what I'm saying. If we know it's false, everybody know it's false. Somebody need to go on these pages. Let them know that it's false. Y'all need to let... I'm instead of just I'm letting this shit it. drag on, this nigga get... You feel me? His name get tarnished like this. It ain't right. Like, you gotta clear this up. You gotta, like, no cap. You gotta clear this shit up. You need, you need to go apologize to this man or something. No doubt. So, she basically lied. She pretend that he got HIV for some reason, um, for I don't know what reason. You know, they, they obviously broke up and maybe she's a psychopath ex and wanted to get back at him. The guy, Jonathan, put this on his Instagram, which is very serious, very sad, by the way. This isn't the laughing part. The laughing part is obviously, there is no laughing part. This is very serious. However, I, when I first read it, I couldn't believe what I was reading. I was like, no fucking way this guy did it. And then she posted it on the internet, but it was all fake. So he put on his Instagram, that's it, I'm committing suicide. 
side y'all ruined my life i'm innocent y'all really came to where i lay my head bullying my family and stalking them y'all want me gone well congrats i'm ending it all so the woman the ex-girlfriend basically lied pretended that he did all this went around getting her hiv when she knew it wasn't false so let's go over it though that must have taken some real effort to do you can't just fake messages like this and you can't do all this sort of stuff without putting in a, you know a decent amount of effort and to say that he knew for seven months as well you're clearly trying to tarnish him and you know get this ruin him ruin his life basically so you are an invictive bitch who deserves to get drop kicked off the eiffel tower and just fall to your death because people like this just cannot be trusted I knew that you couldn't afford me then it's like you were speaking to me like i'm a leash bro i live in a two-story apartment luxury apartment my rent is three thousand dollars a month my blow up mattress you that's probably the only thing you could say my blow up mattress baby my my bed is coming like i'm not even speaking too much on that that don't even matter that has nothing to do with you but furthermore this is the last conversation that I will have with you. So we can see from this video, she's obviously a bit loopy and thinks she's top dollar in that. She's getting annoyed because he won't buy her a bed or a mattress or some shit like that because, you know, he doesn't want to spend money on this hoe because that's what she is. Some woman who will go on the internet and make up false, serious allegations that he's going around spreading diseases that kill when he knows he has it. Why am I being with a nigga that's not dominant, that doesn't want to spend money on me, that doesn't want to spend time with me? That's a good question. Hmm, I wonder why he doesn't want to spend money on you or spend time with you that's such a weird question i don't know i think i'm gonna have to think about this long and hard and use my big brain to come up with a solution as to what could possibly be wrong with this man oh wait you're the problem you stupid slab stupid slur you stupid blur. literally the fourth situation for me this is the fourth situation the first dinner second um you asked me for a gift for Christmas. You were the one that asked me for it. This hoe is sick. It's not hard to send messages to yourself. Showing y'all it's not hard to send messages to yourself. Showing y'all it's not hard to send messages to yourself. Oh my God. So you can do it like that. That's crazy. I didn't know that was a thing. We could. So this is what she responded. We could have a normal conversation. I do apologize so many times. You just keep ignoring me. This is, I never chased anyone like this. The least you could do is just listen to me. We're grown ass adults. Why it got to be like this? We're grown ass adults. Why it got to be like this? Dude, you're fucking off your head. You know, Take the crack pap out of your mouth and drink some fucking water because what are you talking about? They've been talking for four weeks and then when she cut, when he cut it off, she tried basically ruining his life. Uh, I'm not going to read all that because there's too many words and my brain just can't focus on one. But if you want to read that, you can read that. But it's basically saying, why don't you want to fix this part of me? You know, this, that and the other. Uh, you know, she's sorry, but like, not sorry. I mean, ugh, it's just nonsense, isn't it? Talking about who you're being used and I won't hit you again. Brilliant. You know what I mean? Three bands on a part. Apartment. Sounds like a dumb bitch. Yeah, because she's just a bragger trying to be like something. Oh, see, look, this shit pissed me off. This poor guy, Jonathan, if what the lady's saying is true, deserve justice. She should go to prison. She should have her head beaten, caved in, destroyed because his life, his name, you know, whenever someone searches his name for jobs, for the light, you know, internet, whatever it might be, it's always going to come up about this story. The poor guy has been absolutely ran over and then dragged through the streets. I, I can only, f I'm just glad it's not me, selfishly, you know. That would be fucking horrific. But yeah, like I said, this this woman needs putting down like a dog with rabies because my God, my God. God, is it not good for this man? I feel sorry for him truly because the whole internet believed it. I believed it. I was like, what a dirty, disgusting human being you have to be to do that. It wasn't though. It was a dirty, disgusting human being who made up lies about him. An idea, what we should do is we should punish people who make up lies about other people doing serious crimes and give them the equal and same punishment as they would have got if they actually committed the crime. I think that's how we deal with this. Brothers got to stick together, kick these hoes to the curb. I'm sure someone said in a rap song, but it's just terrible, isn't it? Kick these women to the curb because they just cannot be trusted.